This wall was made to simulate the surface of the moon. We're at NGC Aerospace's facility, where they design navigation systems for satellites, lunar landers, and rovers. In this lab, they test their software. What we've designed, it's uh, an optical navigation system. So we have images of the moon's surface to down to a pretty good resolution. Uh, so we use that information to build our database exactly like a, a, a moon-like GPS for uh, moon landers and moon orbiters. And that's in order to support uh, what, what we call pinpoint landing. Here's a couple of projects the company's working on. Its tech just set foot on the moon for the first time as part of the Blue Ghost 1 landing, spearheaded by a private U.S. company called Firefly. Up to the stars is no longer limited to nations alone. This mission carried NASA tech into space for subsurface drilling, sample collection, X-ray imagery, and dust mitigation experiments. NGC's technology was on board to collect navigation data. Y'all select the landing. We're on the moon. It's the first time a commercial company successfully landed on the moon without crashing. Ice space uh, landed a bit too hard uh, a couple years ago, and then there was intuitive machines that ended up. Uh, kind of sideways, this time it worked. What do you think changed? Uh, ex experience, I mean, it, uh, people learn. And, and these guys, I mean, they, even though they're competitors, they learn from, from each other. One of the other big projects that NGC is working on is with the Canadian Space Agency. The CSA is preparing a trip to the moon. The launch is scheduled for 2026 at the earliest. Here, they're designing some of the navigation systems that will go in the mission's mini rover. I mean, that's the next, uh, that's the next place humans are going, and we for sure want to support that, that, that effort. The CSA's rover will search for ice, which would not only sustain life, but also produce fuel to propel humanity to Mars. It's a search that will rely on technology being refined right here in this Quebec lab.